All right, moving right along, we are going to install some plug-in must-haves for our site. So the first thing we want to do is go back to our WordPress dashboard. We need to log in. This is easy. We remember all this. And this is going to take us to our main dashboard of the website on the back end. And here you will have access to all of your information at the tip of your fingertips. Um, any updates or any um, news, it'll be right here when you log on. All right, so what I want us to focus on is uh, activating our Jetpack. Now, in order to get our Jetpack, we got to connect, but we also have to have a WordPress.com account. So if you notice here, this is the interface, the platform to log in. And it looks similar to the WordPress.org, but it's .com. And the reason being, if you don't have an account, you do have to register. It's because the Jetpack offers a lot of um, access and resources that is available on the WordPress.com platform that is not necessarily um, available on the .org unless you integrate the two accounts. So if you don't have an account, it's very important that you sign up, register to get one so you can have access to um, these uh, benefits. All right. All right, I authorized the completion of this connection. And it took me to the next page where I can actually figure out what type of account I want. Now, I've had um, jetpacks on all of my um, blogs and websites, and I've never paid anything because I only needed the basics. Um, but if you choose to um, purchase or upgrade your account, it has additional um, benefits that you can look at and review. And if you want to do it, then go ahead and move forward. But for me, I didn't have to, so I'm going to select the, the free option. All right, on the next page there will be an option to jumpstart your site we have to activate our features once clicking that actually sped up this process because um, it took quite some time for it to all activate once the activation completes I'm gonna jump right back to the dashboard and just um, start from there now that we are back at the dashboard I can give you a brief overview of what we're looking at here Every day that you log into your account, you're able to see at a glance how many posts you have, how many pages, how many comments. And, you know, this is kind of like a summary, a quick summary of what's going on as well as recent activity. All right. So what I like to look at when I log on are my site stats. I want to know how many people have viewed my website today, do I have any top posts, and more so, are there any malicious attempts? So on my a more active website, I have a quite, a, quite a large number there, um, and you know, a, a kismet here works really hard to stop those uh, malicious attempts from happening day to day. So we are going to download a kismet to our website so they can start um, tracking and, and taking care of that for us but before we get there I'm gonna give you a brief overview of this page and this site we're not gonna dive into every item on the the left hand side but I am gonna hit on some key points for instance here appearance you're gonna be able to access your themes you're gonna be able to customize your widgets menus and any ever in any other aspect of your website right from this bar alone all right as far as posts whenever you want to make a post to your website you're going to do that by clicking here you can look at all posts you can add a new one you can set up categories and tags and you can manage it right from this uh, menu bar as it relates to media media is your are your videos your pictures any other component um, that you're going to add to your website, for the most part, it's videos and images. Um, but I also have PDF files in there that I add onto my website if I want to give a download. Um, so it's all going to be saved to your library. As it relates to pages, uh, you can set up pages on your site, and for each page, you can have a post or um, it really just depends on how you're going to be setting up your website or your blog, how you want it to, to work for you um, will determine how many pages that you, you require. But for the most part, some of the basic pages are about me, 
contact us uh, about our company, um, basic services that you offer. So those would be our main pages on your site. And then they, they, you could have additional posts below. You can also add a contact form to your website. So on your contact us page, you can customize a form that allows your visitors to upload their personal information straight to you. Um, you can actually customize that format that will be helpful for you to get back in touch with them. Maybe you wanna ask for some information, whether a resume, some documents, it's all there for you to customize that. You can also manage your comments and feedback as well. Now I already talked about the appearance and the themes so just briefly, you can look at all the, the other options, but we're gonna move right over to plugins. Now, in by clicking on installed plugins, you'll see all of the available plugins that are on your website. They all may not be active. They could be just um, a repository for all the plugins that you want or that you wanted to download, but they don't have to be active all at once. And I would highly um, uh, not recommend having them all active as well It'll slow your website down but here you can also um, add new plugins you can edit them and you can also purchase additional premium plugins as well clicking on plugins will send you to the plugin dashboard and here you'll see all of your active and deactivated plugins available to you that um, you have already installed at some point uh, the first one up is Akismic, and I kind of do want to go over that briefly just so that um, you have a better understanding of what that is and why it's important to have that on your website. Uh, I've used uh, Akismic um, on all of my websites because it is a spam protector plugin that keeps your website safe, um, safe from malicious logins, from hackers, all that. It's a very good plugin and highly rated uh, in the, the marketplace. In order to activate a Kismic, you do have to install it, activate it, then sign up for a plan. Once you sign up for a plan, you'll be given an API key code which, that then you'll um, apply in your plugin settings. So it is a little process to get there, but it is well worth it, and I highly recommend um, everyone with a website to have it downloaded. Here are all the other plugins that are available. Most of these come um, through the Jetpack um, provided by WordPress. We have our constant contact form um, and Hello Dolly. Hello Dolly really doesn't have a purpose. It's just um, a plugin that has like random words at the top of the screen up there, up here. But um, we don't really need it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to deactivate it, which I did. Mojo for the marketplace, that's pretty helpful. We don't really need that right now, but we'll talk about it later. And of course, we have our Jetpack by WordPress. I want, I want to go ahead and click on that just so that we can look at what the settings for the Jetpack look like. Um, first glance, just basic uh, dashboard. If we look at engagement, we can see all the other tools that are available to us, paid and free. Of course, we have our site stacks. We talked about that. Sharing. Um, you can share with social media, publicize your posts, um, have additional widgets that are available, comments, likes, um, subscriptions. All of these are um, benefits that you can um, turn on and turn off as it relates to your site. So you can play around with that if you like. Uh, moving on, we're going to go to security. You can actually protect your site from malicious attempts by having a double blocker. Uh, monitor your notifications. I get emails when my site is down. Um, that's perfect. Site backups, that's a paid, but it's a prop, it's a really good benefit to have. Appearances, uh, you can manage your and customize your widgets, visibility. So look through all of this. Um, some helpful information here. Um, you can customize your site um, and, and the functionality of it better by going through everything and understanding what exactly you're looking at. Uh, you can even pick a post by email. Isn't that cool? Um, I don't really have that, but it still is a cool benefit to have if you want to post via your phone or whatnot. All right, I know I'm going really fast through each one of these items. I just want to make sure I am capitalizing on time. I don't want to spend too much time on things that you may not even need. Um, if you do need additional information, let me know. 
So I'm going back to the plugins page. Uh, we talked about Mojo Marketplace, opt-in monster API. I don't need that right now. I'm not going to be creating opt-in forms. So I'm going to deactivate that. Okay, moving right along, uh, I think it is beneficial for us to set up our Kismic account. So we're going to do that now. Click on settings. And once you click on settings, it's going to ask you to register for your account. So we're going to click on that. On the next page, you have your pricing options. You can either do the $5 a month plus package, or you can do the basic name your price. The name your price is pretty cool because you get to pick how much you are going to pay for the service. You can pick between $0, $30, or $36, $40, $50, up to $120. So um, you decide what you want to pick for this. Um, all of the money goes towards the account, Akismic, um, for them to help manage this plugin. But once you decide, go ahead and add in all of your credentials and we'll move forward. So I created my account. I picked the $12 a year plan. Call me cheap, I know. <laughs> and, you know, starting a new blog, you may want to do that as well. Um, because you don't want to spend too many too much expense up front. So it's okay. I won't judge you Moving along um, Follow the instructions you want to add your site information uh, You will be given an API key that needs to be added to your um, Settings so you want to copy and paste that Once you copy it you're going to enter it below where it says enter an API code Let's copy it and paste. I did blur it out just so that um, my information isn't scattered all over the intranet. <laughs> all right, so um, I do want to show the number of approved comments. I do want to silence, uh, silently discard the worst. I don't need to be managing. Um, the spam for everything that goes through. I trust Akismic. It's been pretty on, on um, top of things. So I'm not worried about that. We're going to save changes and then move right on along. Once you have your API key code saved, your uh, Akismic account is now active and Akismic will begin saving your website from malicious hackers and spam artists <laughs> in malicious login attempts. So you're all set.